So here's this man who is holding the, the office of high priest, looking at true and trying to convince high priest. Man, Obira, Baba, Tipman, Tila, Newt, Pa, I did not know any years of Christmas, but take a catch, kill, at a ticket of any channel, he come. Because Jesus is our high priest, our king, and here's the high priest, he's trying to convince. Crazy story. And so, let's say one more thing. This is make your mind go crazy. You remember that? Pastor, to remember Genesis 15, it's the first prophecy of Jesus. It said, the battle against Satan, and the sin will win, the seed of Satan will temporarily take out the seed of the woman. The seed of the woman is Jesus. Who's the seed of Satan? Right now, it's the high priest. Satan has gotten himself at the top level of the church. Top person is a seed of Satan who is going to come and try to take out the seed of the woman. It's the greatest heist of mankind. The top level member of the church is influenced by Satan. Can you imagine going back to Genesis 3.15 thinking, this is going to be the top church official of the woman. It's just unbelievable just to even think through this. So this is my thing even within the church today. I think most are controlled by the Spirit of God. But I think that Satan wants to be in the offices of the pastor. Satan and not on the side of Jesus. But yet everybody looks to them as in, oh, they're holy and they're religious, just like you. Jesus said, you'll know them by their fruit. And when, they, when Jesus runs out the disciples, even the Apostle Paul, his problem that he runs into most of the time is the church coming against him and trying to kill him. So here we have the institution so to glorify God. I know who the Son of God is, is trying to literally kill the Son of God because they want power, they want to control, they want to be the judge, and they want to allow God to be the judge. And then the high priest says in verse 64, You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? And they all condemn Jesus to be deserving of death. Then some began to spit on Jesus and to blindfold him and to beat him and to say to him, prophesy. And the officers struck Jesus with the palms of their hands. And 
tuja ki 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 kilo tigu gupor ikome kon gingale kichinge. So just the Jewish people have been keeping Passover for over two thousand years at this point. Maybe even three thousand years at this point. Since the Exodus. Lo juda ya no dongu bero ka kuer kit karama man me karne pi muak marna libari o nyo guak be ali bade no dongi tiki karme kuer ni karne. And it was tradition they would bring the lamb of God, the lamb, into the household and keep that lamb in the household for five days, sacrifice it, crucify it, essentially, and eat it together and know that their Savior will be coming just like this. And the blood that's to be out of that lamb after it's sacrificed is to be put on the doorpost so God's judgment would pass over them. This is all back in, the, in Exodus chapter 12. You can read it for yourself. In the calendar of this Passover, this is the night they were supposed to take the blood of the lamb that they slaughtered and put on their doorpost so God's judgment would pass over them. Every one of these people who are at this meeting had just performed that ritual that night, and yet the Lamb of God is literally looking at them, and they're trying to crucify him. Yet these people go to synagogue every day. They know they are supposed to know the Word of God. These are the main. Yet they missed the entire message, and we can simply do that ourselves if we don't study the word from front to back. We can totally miss the message of the gospel. John, we don't even realize it. John, no, gi chero kallega ni aki ni ano. Gen gi chero kallega, gen gi kwanu lok paluba. Ono gen gi ni ang ento pegu miti ni ang loke ni dogbe ni kache one pegu kwanu bible la chiki ni uwe ya giki makun wangi yembe si ni ang leki lok man be ni pewa bi ni ang. So we are watching. The rock of our salvation handled the pressure. Now let's watch the other rock, Peter, the Petros. So now as Peter, or Petros, was below in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came, and when she saw Peter warming himself, she looked at him and said, You also were with Jesus of Nazareth. He got the wrong message. He didn't want him to pick up the word. He wanted him to stand his right word. So this servant girl of the high priest recognizes Peter. Let's see how the courageous man Nazareth handles the situation. Verse 68 yes, But Peter denied it, saying, I neither knew nor understood what you were saying. And he went out onto the porch in a rooster crow. And the servant girl saw Peter again and began to say to those who stood by, This is the one I'm But Peter denied it again. And a little later, those who stood by said to Peter, Surely you are one of them, for you are a Galilean, and your speech shows it. 
peter do ko yana wo haye kare do karman na mo jo ma no guccun kenyo do go bo peter ni adda ngar ce makin ge pn illa lilaya now what peter does ko de ni ngo ma peter mo he began to curse and swear ja ko ko ne lam me ke ke ni he said bad words words that we are supposed to speak he's literally cussing these people out ti lo ko lo ma re ju lo mo mi pe wa wa ji lo me ko Maybe he gets to swear, saying, cussing them out. Swear, I don't know this man. Who do you speak of? This Jesus main guy, and now he's denying Jesus right there. He crumbles under pressure. Man, any young child, man, who the wang is so loyal, loyal, compliant, and petre, petre, karma, tek, don't think of where. Jesus knew he was going to. Yes, on the young. And it says in verse 72. The second time the rooster crowed, yeah. and Peter calls to mind the word he has said to him. Before the rooster crows twice, you will me three times. And when he thought about it, he wept. Doc, short, short, one way, and of course, Mary, my better, who long years to watch Jenny, Mano, well, they are on what they call. We don't want to do at this point, but we believe that he just ran away and don't know where he is at. And we don't even he, we see him at cross. Peter goes into hiding at this point. We don't want to go to the main gate. We don't want to go to the main gate. We don't want to go to the main gate. We don't want to go to the main gate. We don't want to go to the main gate. We don't want to go to the main gate. He couldn't handle it. He didn't have the strength yet to handle it. The beautiful thing is he will later. Even later on, the history tells the Bible doesn't tell us. History tells us that as he was claiming the gospel, he was he he got convicted the same way Jesus is being convicted. They tried to crucify. I am like Jesus. He said, I am not worthy to be crucified the way my Savior is crucified. You have to crucify me upside down. And they did. The reason why the Holy Spirit came upon him so well that it penetrated his heart and he had courage like he never had before. That's our Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit make you unshakable, unbreakable. When you have the power of the Holy Spirit against anything and say, hey, I know Jesus is, He will save my soul. You can hurt my body, but you can't hurt my soul. I am the one who is my soul. But we can all understand G Peter's fear. We can make fun of him all we want, but we probably would have done the same thing. They're watching Jesus be set on, be hit, be struck, blindfolded. Yeah, that's when fear fell on Peter when he saw even Jesus himself going through that. And if Peter did not did not Jesus said that's my man right there, they would have done the same exact thing to Peter. Wasn't strong enough. He didn't understand the message that way. But when you understand the message and your spirit is resonating in you, uh, you can go into the darkness and hover over the waters if you 
will. You are powerful, you are strong, and you have conviction, and you stay true to the word regardless. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. So let me just go ahead and skip ahead to something that is uh, there's going to be a day that Jesus uh, is resurrected that Peter has not seen. Him. There's going to be a day that Peter and the disciples are in a boat fishing. And there's going to be a guy from the shore. And he's going to yell out to them, head on the other side. Peter does it. And, he, and he's going to pull in a big, big look fish. And then he realizes who's the one on the shore. And it's Jesus. He's it's totally unexpected. And Jesus is on the, on the shore cooking for him for breakfast. And Peter out of the swims Jesus and falls at his feet. Yes, or no, he didn't you And Jesus just shows a level of grace to Peter and just says, Peter, do you love me? Yes, no, Chapel New to Rome, Kijama, Wong, and Peter, and yes, Peter, only Peter, and then again, Jesus says, Peter, do you love me? Peter, yes, or no. He says, yes. And then one more time, the time, Peter, do you love me? And Peter says, yes. Why do you, why do you say that? And why do you do it three times? He just denied his yeah. but he him. I said, you in here to feed my sheep? Tell me three times. Jesus is gracious. If you mess up, he'll get back and feed my sheep. But it broke his heart. At the same time, it right there. Jesus put it back together and says, I need my mission. Pastor, your job is to feed sheep. Well, how do you feed sheep? By truly knowing the word of God, knowing how Jesus fulfills it, and you give your sheep this spiritual food day in, day out. This is your number one job. Know the word of God. And then be it. You don't know everything. Everything. I guarantee you, you don't know everything. I don't know everything. I've never met who everything about the Word of God. So I live out my salvation with fear and trouble. It's an honor to stand here or sit here and just teach you all listening right on the most humble way. Jesus is the fulfillment of the Passover lamb and he had passion on people who even mess up at night. So Peter probably was like, I missed my chance to say sorry to Jesus. He's dead now. I missed my chance. If I go back to Peter and tell him that I love him, I'm I'm so sorry I denied you three times. I'm a coward. I'm sure all those things three days three nights. 
I just love the image of Peter just jumping out of the boat and just saying, Man, I don't care. I'm just going to be next to Jesus. I finally live to him. I don't want to stop teaching. I just keep going. Can I have the rest of the day? I just want to do this. This message is good. I just want to be by Jesus. I don't... I'm sorry when we thank you for grace. I just want to be next to him. I can't wait until the where can just go and literally next to him. I'm yet a just to work. No carry. Do you care? No, no, no. I pray carry God. My take care. I be come. I feel come. I am no don't be better carry. But I have five minutes now for calls. So now let's let's have a few calls. <laughs> Amen. Well, thank you so much, Pastor Kent. I just can't get enough of the teaching. Pastor Fred, you are another one. Thank you so much. You bring it to bring so much light in what Pastor Kent is trying to tell us. Thank you so much. Um like we know about what in in not a borrow a deck, a borrow a deck, a deck a year of we are so streaming live. Uh, we got some message from Janet. Um, she was like, uh, "Was it wrong, Peter? Jesus, how oh, these scriptures get filled?" And then I'm brought from Lyra. He was like, "Why is Jesus at times referred to as Son of Man in the Bible? Yet he is Son of God." Thanks so much. Uh, these guys. Uh, let me see. Dennis Alero. Hmm. Okay,
Question. He denied because he was fearful. Uh, he was fearful. He's not watching me hit, beaten, just wrongly, and he became fearful of his own life. He never prayed to this. I mean, Peter said, This will never happen. I will never. I'll fight, I'll fight you till the end. So you see it, Peter just didn't have what it took. But he will place where it comes upon him. Yes. Yeah, and then uh, there is a question you know, as concerning the age limit for marriage. There's some sort of guidance on age limit for marriage. I don't remember the name. Patrick. Pa Patrick, yeah. Um, I think there's a scripture that gives an age limit. Um, but what the scripture says is you have the authorities within your country um, and in your country you'll set those rules. Most countries are just 18 years old and less than authorization from a parent. So I wish I knew more information about why you're asking that question. Uh, Perhaps he wants to get 
My friends, if you want to get married, I'm not sure. Or, or maybe you married to a younger lady. Tchau, <laughs> Kenneth. you're older and you want to know how old she needs to be until you can marry her. Tchau, Kenneth. Tchau, Kenneth. Maybe you call one of our pastors or Samuel and then you can tell them a little bit more information they can give you the details. And then uh, there's this question that is specifically direct to me and is concerning uh, mentioning the high priest as a job did. Well, uh, this one I have to actually answer. So, can you take engage my bear? That no Ramayan, me, me, car, you pick your material on your Bible, eleven, you've been my leg. Param watch an act one young, my bear, more ticker what, lock on, yes, or Christmas, my job. Dear Kishuli, by the way, I'm going to get your kid on you. Okay, yeah. So, I think I'll go on one more. Yeah. So, um, that is one, and uh, can I just do the last one? question. Okay. Just real fast. Mm. Okay. Say so the, the passage, why did Jesus refer to as the Son of Man? Um, there's a passage in Daniel chapter 7 verses 13 and 14 that are really just prophetic. It's explaining the future Messiah coming. In that it says, in my vision at night, I looked. It's Daniel 7. Sure, and I have beer, and he is watching any. It looked like an animal. In my vision, I looked, and there was for me was one like son of man coming with the clouds of heaven. And now, Daniel, tell you what, for Daniel, my take a beer, and I keep pull. And this is, I believe he refers to his son in the text. It's clearly linked back to that prophecy in the book of Daniel. But I think even with Ezekiel, God had a way of calling Ezekiel the same term, son of man, that Jesus is fully God, but fully man at the same time. And when he comes back, he has the same features as man. He'll look like a human being. He'll be God. So in referring to uh, coming like he look like me and you, like a human being, but he coming on clouds with power and and, and so Jesus, he verse 62, and I am, and you see the man seeking power coming with the clouds of heaven. Old Testament, specifically Daniel chapter 7, 13 and 14. So I hope that suffices. There are some few questions that we have time. Give you two minutes. At least I can't exhaust it. Well, someone said, was it wrong for Peter to deny us? That is one, and another was asking about uh, Dennis from Malero. He understood so well, and by saying, uh, today for uh, the concept of hope to be, you know, the person who to cover leadership from Peter. Whoever is not within that is probably not like following the right path. So.
Okay, the first one was uh, uh, real quickly. Is it control for Peter to Yes. He was going to do it. He, he, he repented of that in a sense. He wept. Even scripture said, if you did not be before man, at night, you be God. But prayer for his grace. As Peter received. Real fast, repeat one. The hope. Yes, I, I, I obviously fall within the Catholic faith. But what's interesting, I must give this to you. Um, what's interesting is. James was leader of the church um, after the resurrection. After 15. Peter was a leader. He reported back to James, his brother. Okay, I'm not saying that we are born again to our saved. I just don't believe in the structure of the Catholic Church. Like they don't believe in our structure. So you ask the Catholic, do you believe in Catholic? Uh, 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 Pastor uh, understanding and strive the church to say no, I believe in ours. I believe the Pope has more power than I have, or you have the Holy Spirit. I'm not to have any mediator between me and God, but you post things as the mediator with people in God. And that's against the New Testament teaching. I just don't believe it. see it as scriptural basis. I, I, I'm against the Catholic. I just don't agree with structure. So I get exhausted. Yes. Well, thank you.